So the final step is to confirm the relationship that you have proposed, right? And you confirm the relationship by comparing what you have with what is in the data. I think this one is so, so important because if you don't do that, you may be tempted to come up with a relationship between themes that has nothing to do with the data that you have. Maybe based on your past experience and all the knowledge that you have, you think that the relationship exists, right? But you are not analyzing the data based on your understanding or experiences that you have. It's based on the data that you have, right? So uh, the relationship that we come up with should be based on the data. So that's why when you are doing a grounded theory, you have to go back again. We call it doing this constant comparison by comparing the proposed relationship with the data that you have. So that when you compare, sometimes what will happen is that the data will help you to make a little adjustment to the proposed relationship or the data will reject the proposed relationship or uh, it will cause you to maybe gather more information, go back to participants and interview some of them to help you to see whether what you find here in terms of relationship reflects the data that you have. So, um, so this process is so important because uh, as I said, if you don't take care what will happen is that you establish a relationship based on your understanding, based on your experience, but it's not based on the data that you have. So you have to be very careful at this process. Let the data speak to what you do and try to put aside your own background and biases as you do the comparison, comparing the data with the proposed relationship that you have. Sometimes you may end up by saying that this is a potential relationship between the themes that you have, but you don't have enough data to confirm the relationship. You can end your study by stating this, right? Especially if you don't have enough data to confirm the relationship and you don't want to go back and interview more participants to, to test their relationship that you have developed, right? You always have to base your decision on the data. So that's how you have to do in order to come up with a credible relationship between themes that you have, right? So this is the end of the presentation and all of the things that I, I talk about, you can get that information from my book. Chapter nine of my book talks about, you know, um, determine the relationship between the themes and you know it gives you a lot of examples and how to do it in an efficient manner so thank you for your time if you want to uh, contact me um, this is my uh, contact information you can also go to our website to get more information you can also email us info at center for research methods.com and uh, you can follow me on Twitter and also um, I have a lot of information on SlideShare, the PowerPoints that will be very useful for you. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. Um, so this is what I have for you. So thank you for your time.